Hey, Tony here with Pulizzi Graphics. I'll be showing you how to make a cool burst looking effect for a wallpaper or anything really that you need to. First thing you want to do is make sure your colors are black and white. You can make any size image. I'm going to make it 1600 by 1200. Just because I normally make that size for wallpapers, it works out pretty well. Go into your filter gallery. Render clouds, filter gallery, artistic, plastic wrap. You don't have to use my exact numbers for this, but if you're going to start, you might want to. You can play around with it, but make sure your highlight strength is 20, detail 7, smoothness 3. Go ahead and go back into your filter gallery. This time, you're going to go use glowing edges. Again, it doesn't have to be the same, but for this I'd make sure you have an even balance of really white and really black, so something like this should be fine. And go into your filter gallery one more time. This time we'll be using stained glass. And as you can see, you already have a pretty nice effect, I think, but we're not finished yet. Go into your filter, add your blur, radial blur, any amount from probably 70 to 100 would be good. You're going to want to choose zoom, best quality. I'll do 100 just to show you how, how much it can do. And give it a minute to filter. And there you go. Got a nice bursting effect outwards, and uh, right now it's just black and white, but you can always add a layer above it to add some color to it. So I'll just do a solid fill, maybe like a pink here. Just fill it in right there. For your layer mode, choose overlay, and you got a nice pink burst there. You can also add some. If you want it to look a little bit different, you can actually take your brush, get a really soft big brush, maybe a little too big, but do something quick. Just basically choose any colors randomly, or whatever you would like to see. Paint them in, make sure it you kind of touch each other so they blur into each other more, but we'll also will also be uh using the Gaussian blur to further make it blend to each other. So I mean something like that, just pretty something basic. Go into your blur. I'm gonna zoom out so I can see how much exactly I'll be blurring. I mean this uh, this might be nice. Oh, a little more. Almost looks like a pastel right here. Let's see what that'll look like. See it's not bad. You got a nice variety of colors for your burst. But you can keep around playing with it. Something basic for you to try out. Thanks for watching.